Well, time of the week again for some fishing tips on this week's segment. Ray and Mandy talk about safely transporting bait. Tonight we want to talk a little bit about invasive species. It's something that we're all hearing more and more about. Uh, I think it's important to know why we're doing what we're doing and some of the things that we can and can't do when we're transporting live bait. Things that you, with your naked eye, can't see in the water, it's holding larvae for different invasive species, different kinds of plants, uh, parts in there. So just because you don't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. So if you're transporting your bait, you know, from lake to lake or home to, to back and forth and using the water from the lake that you're previously on, you're actually being part of the problem. If you're using minnows, you can transport up to 12 dozen minnows in Minnesota without a commercial license. If you're transporting more than that, you need to be a licensed bait dealer or a bait harvester. So if you buy minnows at a bait shop, I would suggest strongly that you put those minnows in whatever container you have. I've got a, an aerator here that'll, con that'll hold minnows, that'll hold a large number of minnows here. So I'll put the fresh water in here, I put the minnows in here, I close it up, and I put this in the back of my vehicle before I get to the lake I'm going to, so that if a conservation officer does stop me, he knows that this came from somewhere, so it'll be fresh water out of a tap, or it could be out of, you know, from the bait shop tap, or it could be from my own home if I'm a trapping for my personal use. It's important to realize then when you're done fishing that day, you cannot take this home. You must take the bait out of here, and if you're gonna save the bait, you need to have fresh water in the back of your vehicle where you can drain the water off from here, or you can take it to your vehicle, then you can take it to the vehicle and put those minnows in that new fresh water. And don't drain the water that you had in here in the lake. Drain it up on shore somewhere. If you don't want to deal with the hassle of transporting your bait back into fresh water, doing it properly, or even worried about the legality of the situation and you want to dispose those minnows at the landing, there is actually a proper way to do it. Don't just take your bait and throw it in the middle of the parking lot or walk off to the side and dump it in the grass. At most of the landings, there's going to be an actual designated receptacle to put bait in. It's always a good idea to carry a plastic bag if it's a shopping bag or something. Put your bait inside that, tie it up, and put it into the receptacle. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nissau Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.